Hey guys, welcome back to DAT. In this video, we're gonna be finally doing the complete setup of this build that I did with the Diatone Roma. So we're gonna be doing the full beta flight rundown to get it up and going. And also at the end of this video, we're gonna be doing the first flight. So sit there, let's get it done. So like I said, we're going to be doing the full beta flight setup in this. First of all though, I'm going to have to take this top off because I want to unplug the DJI Air unit because that will be on otherwise and that gets very warm. So disconnecting that will just help. Also, I'm going to be running through my Crossfire setup. So we're going to set up the actual controller. We're going to set up the um, stack that's in there and then we're going to run through the beta flight. So let me get this prepped and I'll be right back. So there we go, just unplugged the DJI Air unit. Um, we're gonna take one of these sides off so we can get to the USB port. And now we're just gonna connect it up to the um, computer, connect it up to beta flight, and we're gonna run through some settings. So before we go any further, I'm gonna have to take the props off. Before you do anything like this, never do it with the props on just in case something goes wrong. There we go, props are off. What we're gonna do now is get our controller ready and power up the actual quad. Welcome to Tango 2. And by powering up, we're gonna actually bind the Crossfire Nano. Because this Crossfire is a brand new, never been bound with anything before, um, it doesn't need anything pressed. When we press the bind on here, this will connect and it will bind together. If anything needs updating, the beauty of this Crossfire thing, it will actually update the receiver, update the controller, and it will be done. So it's very simple. So first things first, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dupe a previous model that I've got. So I'm gonna select the model and I'm going to, I'm gonna duplicate one. And select that. We're gonna call this F5. Boom. So there's the new name. There's the F5, power up the quad. We get the green light flashing on the Nano, so that's ready to go. And in here, we're gonna press menu again, enter the crossfire. And select the bind. Here it says update micro RX. We're gonna say yes. And it's update and receiver. So that is the beauty of the Crossfire system. If anything's out of place, it'll update automatically over Wi-Fi or the connection that it uses. It's really clever, no problems. And we'll just leave it there and let it do its thing for a little bit. There we go guys, we've got the perfect bind. We've got the solid green on the Crossfire Nano there. Hopefully you can see that. And we've got the solid on our controller. So that is ready to go. And that is nice and easy because obviously I duplicated the model. All my settings in there should be absolutely perfect. So no problems. So exit that, F5. That's the controller and the Nano ready to go. So let's get this connected up to beta flight and see what settings I can stick in and we'll just take it from there. So before we connect this up to beta flight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do a fresh, fresh install. So it's gonna have um, beta flight 4.2 on it. So I've just put that into DFU mode. Gonna go over to update firmware. Thank you. 
There we go. T motor F7. We're going to go for the latest stable build. We're going to load the firmware. And we're going to flash. So there we go, just updated with a clean install of 4.2. I'm going to apply our custom defaults. Connect. First things we're going to do is calibrate. Ports. We normally need your two on for the OSD of DJI. Connect again. Uh, this is going on about uh, output for the motors. So this is disabled. We're going to go for D-Shot 600. We're going to put bi-directional on. Uh, we are also Going to change the arming to 180. And what else are we going to do? To, we're going to set a beeper up, so we need that on. Uh, the receiver, we need to change this. This is a serial based. And crossfire, those are the ones you want. Air mode on, OSD on screen display. Dynamic notch filtering, yes. Save and reboot. Reconnect. And then we're going to look at our receiver, make sure this is all working. So we turn on Crossfire. Welcome to Tango 2. Plug in a battery. First things we need to do is actually switch on the correct port in here. So that should be on there. And this should be on here. Plug the battery back in. There you can see we're all connected. Throttle's in the correct place. Roll's okay. Pitch is fine. So everything's in the correct order. That's good. Okay, so we're going to look at our PIDs now. I'm going to leave these all standard. Rates I'm going to change. I'm just going to dial my rates in. are perfect, so save that before I lose them. Filters, this is what I do with my filters. T 
260, 650, 325, that's off, 300, 250, 70, and 350. Two one, two two one, one nine five, and save. So those are the filters that work the best for me. I'm just going to make sure we are all okay now. Uh, actually, we need to make sure our modes are in. So we need to add our arm range. Arm is going to be on here. So that for me, I was just flicking switches because these are set up already for me. So that's my arm position. Actually, that's not my arm position, so I'm going to remove that. I have that as my arm. So that's my arm. Angle and horizon, I leave because I don't use them. Beeper, we'll have that. And I'll flip over after crash. Nice and simple, those are the only ones that I actually have on. So there's the buzzer working. I'm gonna to go to our motors tab, make sure the arm button works, sign your life away. Please make sure you have your props off. There we go, works first time, not bad. Let's go. So what I have to do now is we need to check the direction of these motors are all okay. So put that down. Motor one, it'd be easier if you actually turn this the correct way. So facing forward like the diagram on here. So motor one. We need to change that. Two. We need to change that. Three, we need to change that. But four is okay. So one, two, and three we need to change. So we need to do that in BL Heli. We'll do that in. So this is BL Heli Suite. We're gonna connect. I forget that for now. We're gonna connect and just flash these motors. set up. So this one, we need to reverse it, normal direction, click it, it's reversed. Right, that's set up. Okay, click that off, you're now on two, reverse, right set up. Re reverse right the setup and four was fine. So that should be everything we need to do. We'll disconnect. Close that down, reconnect. 
over to the motors tab, sign your life away, and just check that we've got the correct order now. So, motor one. Correct way. Motor two. Correct way. Motor three. Correct way. Motor four. Correct way. So that's it, everything's spinning now absolutely perfectly. So our crossbar's connected, motor setup, switches setup, we know everything's good. Uh, we've just done our, yeah, just done our motors, just done our receiver. Everything looks fine to me, so let's go out and see if it flies. Hi guys, here we are again in the UK countryside. It's still winter, it's still wet as hell, but I'm gonna do this first flight of the Roma F5. Hopefully it goes well. I'm keen to see how it flies, so let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go, first flight. Seems stable. Seems very stable actually, so that's pretty good. There's a bit of prop wash there, I think. I'm going to fly it down and up a little bit. She's pretty stable actually. There's not that much prop wash, there might be a little bit, but I might not actually even adjust it. The motors seem nice. Should really bring it in and see if those motors getting warm. Yeah, she flies very nice actually. Yeah, it's not that much proper wash at all. So quite happy about that setup. I'll probably bring it in and the motors would be on fire. Yeah, she seems very good actually. So quite happy with that. Back is low. See all that mud everywhere? Terrible. Great landing. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed that flight footage that I did. It's really terrible weather at the moment. It's just disgusting and there's only a few opportunities to actually go flying. So I braved it and did that for you so we can test this out and see what it was like. And I'm happy to say it went very well actually. It flew really nice, it seemed very stable. Uh, there was a little bit of prop wash going on I think, but it's, it's nothing that isn't manageable. I might not even bother tweaking it to actually try and get it out. I'll just leave it I think. I'm going to have to fly it a few more times. I ended up only doing three flights in that uh, little footage that you saw and all of them flew pretty nice. So yeah, it was quite good. So that's a great little build. I mean, one thing I will point out actually, I was expect I don't know why I was expecting from the flight stack in here. I mean, it's no different than just one of the Mambas that I use. You can't tell any difference. It doesn't fly any 
better or worse. So if you're looking, if you want to spend the money, then yeah, I mean, get the T-Motor stack. It's, it's a very nice stack. But if you want to save a bit of money, then the Mambas are obviously a little bit cheaper. So there, there you go, guys. This is a great little build. Nothing wrong with it at all. I would recommend it all day long. So if you'd like to follow my builds, please do so. That is one definitely to look and maybe build after Christmas or in the break. So there you go, guys. Please hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Cheers.